Hey guys, what's up? It's Masquerade 41 here, and apparently I got interrupted on two phone calls when I was filming this video, so I had to restart on everyone. So yeah, uh, I I went to um store, picked up two Bakugan. See on Highlash Ventus, Baku stand. See on Highlash. And I saw I also picked up a Spadaro, back a closer Spadaro. It's actually nice how they give the name now. Um yeah, and the packaging sort of small. It, I think it's meant to be Paris just because of the artwork here. So yeah, I got interrupted. So I have to say this again. But you probably won't notice the difference. Silver gear gave their printer G power next to time, so it's silver shot. So like silver sword or something like that, I forgot. And special mirror during a battle or special treatment Bakugan. So like Baku Metallics, uh, Baku Closer, stuff like that. Change attributes to the opposite. So opposites are Pyrus to Aquas, some Terra to Ventus, and Darkest to Chaos. Sort of not what it does on the um, artwork. It went from Ventus to Pyrus, or Pyrus to Ventus. So yeah, that's sort of weird. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I'll just... So here's the actual back of God. It's actually, it came in this like little capsule thing. I popped in like that, and they sort of slide that out, that little back piece. So that's Darkest Spadaro. Come out. Oop. It closed. Put that back in that thing. Where's the gate card? So that's Darkest Spadaro. With those little eyes. And this thing, which I apparently have no idea what it is. Claws. Diamond object. Somebody flushing the toilet in the background. Uh, yeah. Two powers here. Uh, meh. It's upside down. So I'll have to read it. 800 Gs. Uh... Yeah, got these. Everybody says these are teeny, but they're actually pretty big for backing on, like him. And uh, he's also got these back feet, which I've never realized. So yeah, sort of like that. When he's on the gate card, he's like that. And when you take him off, the shell goes back just like. Forgetting his name, um, I absolutely forgot. So, uh, hacker point, right? Um, so yeah, got that little thing. Uh, yeah, he's got wavy lines and everything. DNA code. To close him, you basically fold in every manual part, which he has. And you sort of have to hold these in and then let the show close. Ooh, see? Otherwise that happens. That actually happens a lot. By the way, um, there's also been things on eBay and stuff on the Minx Elfin. Oops. Mine keeps on popping open. Meh. Nah. On Minx Elfin, there's been actually Minx Elfin, uh, Cross Dragonoid, Helios MK2. Blast Delico and uh, Bakugan like those have actually been released in Japan, I think it was. Uh, so, ow, that hurt. Um, so, yeah, I think they're like $76 or $100 on eBay or something. I'm going to check on Amazon. Oop, finally clicked in. So that's Spadaro. Pretty cool. Oops. Just open there. Focus. Thank you.
to this bar. Uh, move everything apart. Uh, put Spadaro back in as well. Tends to like close. Oh wait, that's because he's meant to. Nah, I just made a technical error. But also, he tends to close a lot. Wait, he's back in closer. <laughs> if you get my lame jokes, congratulations. If you don't, I don't. I don't blame you. Um, wow. And also, the Snow Master is making the package oh packages small. <laughs> I don't know if I said that before, but it seems a bit funny when you have to say it like a million times. Woo! VR Arena number eleven with Kaz Arena and playing the table with a Ventus Brizak. Yes, that's a Breezak. Saw Aquas Breezak at the store as well, but Darkest, and I also saw Darkest Subterra, Darkest and Darkest and Subterra, Cobracus and Chaos Subterra, and Pyrus Longflies. But play the table, play after you roll and stand Aventus, or empty gate cards in the field are moved to the owner's unused pile. We'll remove this card from the game. I've got a darkest Brizak, so I don't know. And finally the moment we have been waiting for. Not so much for me because I've seen it a million times in other videos. But I'm not actually sure any of the of um have the, oh god. Any of them have been legit. Like without having there. Ooh, that's actually very cool. I just realized all the Baku stands out there are like ultra tall. That's what they are, ultra tall. I don't think he can equip battle gear, so yeah. If he can, post a comment. And he has feet. He has DNA code badly glued on. That stinks. Uh, Ventus on Ventus on top of his head. G power, G power, uh, oh, it's in there, you can see that, it's sort of hard isn't it, yeah, 890 G's, pretty cool with these hands that automatically pop open, that sort of swing around, you can swing them around, in all sorts of directions. Manual parts feet, which are actually pretty detailed. And yeah, to close it, I'm presuming. Oh, wait, cool. Its horn actually sort of sticks out of that little thing, you just have to close the flap. Uh, I'm, pr I'm just presuming, like, I just. Sh oh, God, I can't talk. Uh, yeah, it's just like the old uh, eyelash. The way I used to close my old high lash, which didn't involve jabbing any parts in. Um, uh, yeah. Sort of unstable though. So I'm probably doing uh, something wrong. Close. Please. Yes. I'm definitely doing something wrong. Oh, it's just my high lash. It's doing something wrong. Yeah, there we go. I used to close my old high lash was I used to like tuck the head in and sort of put the feet up there, close it in, and then I used to just sort of fold in the flaps and close these in, like so. But yeah, I actually think the um, new Ventus colors really look really cool on this guy. Um, click in, please. Please, maybe. Oh, I hate this guy. Well, I don't hate him, but I just hate how he can't close whenever I tell him to. Uh, why would I tell him to close? Oh, well. So that's been my review on, well, unboxing on this and that. That's it. Bye.